in the last class i hope you remember we did see the continuous form of verbs to get the continuous form we made use of a suffix and the suffix was kondu when you add these two the verb that particular verb becomes a continuous one and the later verb would denote the tense the verbal form with which you have to add the suffix will be in the verbal participle form for instance padi the verbal participle form would be படித்து படித்து கொண்டு இருந்தான் படித்து கொண்டிருந்தான் இ வாஸ் ரெடி நவ் வி ஷெல் டேக் அப் அனதர் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் வர்ப் விச் இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி இம்பார்ட் you have come across this word infinitive to indicate that a particular word is a verb what do we do we add to to act is a verb an act is a noun to indicate a particular word denoted we add to there is another occasion where me we make use of this to and put a verb behind it to see i want to see this picture i want to see this picture is this a verb in spite of the fact that it carries the prefix or to this is not a verb this stands for something else i want to go home he wants to complete the project by the weekend she is planning to stage a drama in the festival so all these forms are called infinitives that is to say they serve the purpose of a noun they cannot be treated as verbs for they will not accept the tense markers so also in tamil you have to have a particular form of a particular verb to be infinitive in the sense
this high time we have learned more words and thus increase our vocabulary. I will go in a full sentence. This is the translation of what I said in English. Nam in the Velayai Cheya Virumbu Rain. Nan, you know, Virumbu to want, to like. Here it's a bob. Virumbu kiru plus yen virumbu grain. Non virumbu grain. I want. This is a transitive verb but naturally must have an object. And the object is Velai. Are you sure? Because this carries the Accusative marker, can this be taken as the object? You remember the English sentence, I want to do this work. This work is the object of what to do non in the this way line work rain to do chai isn't it chai means to do but this format is not correct. This must undergo a small change to get itself accommodated in this type of sentence. What do we do? For verbal participle, We took up the past tense marker and added a suffix. Remember that? For noun participle, the suffix was a. And a noun participle can have any tense. Shaida, Shaigira, Shayum. So also this format needs a suffix. What is that suffix? A. Shay plus A. And what will happen? This becomes Shaya. How do we arrive at this? Shay is a two lettered word with a short vowel in the beginning and a consonant, and the oncoming suffix is a vowel. So, naturally, this gets double. So, this form will be here. Non in the velayai chaya virumbugirain. Virumbugirain is a transitive verb and the object would be chaya virumbugirain. Chay is a transitive verb again and the object is velay. So, this sort of infinitive will have a as the suffix.
Now you can raise the question, we have already had this arc suffix for non participle and what is the difference between that form where a suffix was added and this form where a suffix is added. In non participle, it was verb tense marker plus a. Whereas in this, it is just the root plus the suffix, it becomes shayya. The root of a verb with a suffix r becomes the infinitive form of that verb. Let us have a few more verbs so that you can easily understand. Wa becomes wa before taking up anything. you add a. You know this as the peculiar way of taking up another suffix. This becomes vara. The infinitive form of va would be vara. Avan Nalai Inge Vara Virumbugiran Avan Nalai Inge Vara Virumbugiran. Now you know all the words. Avan Nalai is tomorrow, Inge here, Vara to come, Virumbugiran wants. He wants to come here to tomorrow. You find this. Similarly, ta becomes tara. I will change the sentence. Our we tie one ak tara virumbu girar. I have retained this virumbu girar and change all the other things. Our virumbu girar. Now you raise a question.
என்ன செய்ய விரும்புகிறார் அவர் என்ன செய்ய விரும்புகிறார் வாட் டஸ் ஹி வாண்ட் டு டூ அவர் தர விரும்புகிறார் அவர் என்ன செய்ய விரும்புகிறார் என்ன வாட் செய்ய டு டூ விரும்பு டு லை அவர் ஹி ஹாண்டர் அவர் என்ன செய்ய விரும்புகிறார் அவர் தர விரும்புகிறார் தா இஸ் அ டிரான்சிட்டிவ் வேர்ப் ஸோ இட் மஸ்ட் ஹாவ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் எதை தர விரும்புகிறார் வீட்டை தர விரும்புகிறார் அவர் வீட்டை தர விரும்புகிறார் இன்டைரக்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஈஸ் டு ஹூம் அவர் உனக்கு தர விரும்புகிறார் அவர் வீட்டை உனக்கு தர விரும்புகிறார் ஸோ தி தர இஸ் தி ஃபார்ம் விச் ஹாஸ் பீன் ஃப்ரேம்டு ஆன் தி பேசிஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வா தீஸ் டூ வேர்ப்ஸ் கோ டுகெதர் டு கோ you add a this also is a peculiar one because it needs some other consonant to get accommodated with a or to accept that is poga to go வீட்டுக்கு போக டு ஹோம் வீட்டுக்கு போக டு கோ ஹோம் அவள் வீட்டுக்கு போக விரும்புகிறாள் ஷி வாண்ட்ஸ் டு கோ ஹோம் அவள் வீட்டுக்கு போக விரும்புகிறாள் போ இஸ் அன் இன்ட்ரான்சிட்டிவ் வோம் ஸோ நேச்சுரலி யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் எழுது பிளஸ் அ எழுத திஸ் இஸ் தி இன்ஃபினிட்டிவ் ஃபார்ம் ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் நோ சேஞ்ச் தேர் இஸ் எ நேச்சுரல் அக்செப்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த சஃபிக்ஸ் I am giving you as usual a set of verbs which undergo a slight change before they accept the suffix X. Padi to read, Nada to walk, Adi to beat, Kodu to give. There are a few more in this set.
I gave you a formula long back. Whenever you have to make use of verb, any verb for that matter, and change it according to the situation, try to find out the present tense form of that verb. The verb plus present tense marker and the personal mark. For padi, it will be padi plus kiru plus vein, and this gets doubled to east pronunciation. So it will be padi kire. Remember this. So also nada to walk, nada kire ka gets doubled. Adi to beat. Adikirain, this consonant gets doubled. Kodu to give, kodukirain. And I can give you a few more. Kodukirain, kodukirain. Now you have this formula of a consonant getting doubled. If you remember this, all these verbs will get a consonant and that will be double. That is to say, Padi, getting doubled. Padika Virumbugiran. What will be the subject? Avan Padika Virumbugiran. Nan Kala Il Nadaka Virumbugiran. Nadaka, Nada to walk. Non Kala il Nadaka Virumbuk rain. Koduka to give. Koduka Virumbuk rain. Inside a different form of this verb. What is it? Just a couple of minutes back, we saw that. Ta and kodu mean the same. Koduka is the form of kodu and tara is the infinitive form of ta. So also you have another set of verbs. where there is some, some change. All our verbs Nil to stand, Kal to learn, Will to sell. We have already seen that. Tol to get defeated. This set of verbs as a peculiar tendency of bringing in another 
venting factor this becomes nil plus i plus a naturally the consonant gets merged with the vowel and the nil ka and this undergoes a change to accommodate a hot sound this becomes nirka so also karka will virka tol thorka so this is karka I will give you one circular. Karka. Kasadara, Karpavai, Katsabin, Nirka, Adarkutaga. These two words I have already explained. Katra is a non possible form. Pin after Katsabin after learning. Nirka stand. Observe what you have learned. Adapt what you have learnt, karka and nirka. You see the formation of these two verbs in the infinitive form, the original being kal and nil. So, in literature also, these have been employed, and in day to day language also, we continue the same way of having infinitive forms. We will continue this in the next class.